Hello viewers. <laughs> this movie you're about to watch is a gospel movie. And I believe that it's going to bless your soul and minister life into your lives. But please, hold on a minute. Kindly subscribe to this channel. Click the notification bell, like and share. Do it now. Do it now, please. If you do that, you have encouraged us. Subscribe, like, and share. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Happy watching. Hello, Samuel. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Chief, everything is set. She'll meet you at the pavilion at exactly 9.30 p.m. tonight. Good. And the dress code? White, of course. Just as agreed. <laughs> Good boy. In a short while, you will receive my message. Thank you very much. Good boy. Samuel. 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 Okay, sir. Thank you, Chief. Hello, Bisola. Are you ready? Sam D. Sam is the frog of all, my guy. As ready as any smart girl can be. I'm as wise as an angel that I truly really am. Trust me, guy. I'm ready to pick. You know I don't fuck up. Thank you. You will pick you up at the pavilion at exactly 9:30 p.m. tonight in a Toyota Sienna, silver color. Don't be late. Do not forget to keep this deal between us. Take it as a favor from me to you. Timishé, are you all right? I'm, I'm, I'm all right Where at all. Where are you heading to by this time of the night? You cannot believe that. Since the beginning of today, I have no witness to just a soul at all. So? And I, I cannot sleep just like that. At least a soul for a day. So? I'm looking for who to witness the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ to. At this time of the night? Um, yeah, I should get a person at so least. So, don't you think you are taking this thing too far? Too far. Eh? Aren't we all Christian? No, now. That's our main mandate. As a Christian, we have been, you know, it's our main mandate for each and every one of us to witness the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, who do you think you are going to meet at this time of the night? I will get someone. I must preach the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ to everybody. To Miche. Sai, look with this smart picture they come to. Let my boy before you reach me. Go 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 listen to his foolish sermon. To Miche again. Isola. Hello, good evening. Ah, uh, Sumishi, good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Um, can I just take a minute out of your time? Mm, really? Not tonight, as you can see. Be so I'm fairly busy. I have an outing tonight, please. I, wait, I know you have an outing, but Jesus Christ, I have, a, I have an important message for you. Huh? Yes. Message? Ah, he always does. And in fact, you always say it's true, you. Isn't that weird? Oh. Jesus has an important message. He is the way, the true, and the life. <laughs> Seriously, this night, I can't wait to see the summons inside of them. Yeah, 
This sacrifice has failed! What? It failed? You add me! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> <sighs> Chief, I don't understand. How can that be? <laughs> of course you should. You should understand. Because I gave you that ring. And I told you that any girl you would send to me should be touched with that ring. Obviously that girl that you sent was not touched with that ring. And that's why the ritual failed. Did you throw a field? Wait, Chief. Are you sure you picked that up at the rendezvous as agreed? The pavilion. At 9.30 p.m. Was that not our agreement? I was there at 20 past 9. Waiting. And then she showed up in white dress as agreed. And she was there on time. So, when she approached my car, she paused, obviously trying to be sure if I was the one she was to meet. Hello, fine girl. How are you? I don't seem to understand this whole thing. But Chief, I'm sorry. It's still a mystery. Like, I, 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 I... It, it's okay, it's okay. Samuel. Chief, sir. Samuel. Chief. Samuel. Chief. Marine. <laughs> Get out of my car. No, no, no. But Chief, Chief. I, I, I... Excuse me. I can no longer cope with excuses. Oh. I have to start the ritual all over again now because of your gross incompetence. Get out and never call my number again. Bismillah. Go away. Bismillah. Chief, Chief, I, I, I promise to make it up. Hey! <sighs> Chief, t t I, I'm, all I'm trying to do is just... Hello, cut the crowd, Bissola. I'm highly disappointed in you. I'm sorry. You failed me. You just made me lose a good sense of income. Oh. Wait, if you aren't the one chief picked, then who? I'm sorry. You just keep saying, who? The part said puzzled to me as well. But even for that religious bigger to me, Shay, I would have made it. As I was going that night, it met me on the way. And he tried to preach to me as usual. Gosh, I was so annoyed. As I was going that night, he tried to grab me. I yanked his hands off my... 
and I lost my balance and fell inside the gutter. I was so amazed. I had to go back to the hostel around 9.25 for a change of clothes. Sorry for that. You, you should have given me a chance. Just a minute. It was five minutes past ten. I'm sorry, Samdi. I met no car and I met no chief waiting for me. I'm so sorry. I'm very, very sorry. You know I'm not like that. To Michelle! Oh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hello, Viper. Gather the boys. We have an urgent task to attend. Now how, girls, I'm really tired of the semester. Like it's really becoming boring and too long. Ah, I can't wait for the semester to be done. Like then, I'll be truly free. Like free. I am looking forward to that freedom too. But you know, each time I say this at home, my mom would laugh at me and be telling me that, ah, that I'll soon realize that adulthood comes with a lot of responsibilities. Eh, <laughs> at least you have nobody pushing you to do things you don't want to do. Peers from lecturers, from parents, and other adults who believe that you are too naive to live your own life. Mofe, it seems you are really enjoying it deep. Because it is not about you, like you're not even stressed, and you are equally brilliant. Sure. You are brilliant, like you are the best student in our department. And you pass all the examinations with little or no stress. And God even blessed you with a brilliant boyfriend. Yes, so. Else Please, now. girls, I have told you times without number that Tumisha is not my boyfriend. Really? Can we call again? Girls, now you're you day. You people are completely oblivious of what is going on on campus. What, what is, is it? Going what is going on? It's Tumisha, your Tumisha. boyfriend. He's not my boyfriend. Okay. I learned that he was attacked by some courtes last night. Jesus, is he alive? They said that his insistent preaching on campus is disturbing their operation. Ha! Ah. Crazy! Calm down. The last time I heard, they said he's on admission at Flourish Hospital. Hospital. And he's still alive this morning. If he will be alive tonight, though, remains unknown. Ha! Ah. If that boy is alive. Yes, what can I do? Am I not guilty of bringing the news? Yes, so. But anyways, 
if the boy survives this, that will keep his tongue that he always walks around in the name of preaching and with his fanatic attitude. I'm the one who knows what I've lost in the name of his fanatic attitude and the name of his preaching. Hey, um, hell! You people are sitting there when the lot is going out there. What is it again? We've had already too many she was attacked by courtesies. Tell you! The latest news is about that scene of the law department. That one's girl. She was found dead this morning close to the school area. Uh, Moreover, you want to believe it's some part of her body. What? That must be future feelings. Yes. Those who last saw her said they saw her at the pavilion around 9 30 pm and she went away with one rich man in a Toyota Sienna without registration number. Imagine that. Wait, at the pavilion? Yes. 9 30 pm? Yes. Toyota Sienna? Mm -hmm. Oh, let me tell you the shocking aspect of this news. It was as if she knew she would die that day. She was dressed in white. White? Yes. We got deliver us on all the sugar that deserves. Amen. Hey, Set up on the heat of the heating. He are the lad of the world. He looks at the sorry of the money. Lord Jesus, please save him, revive him, please do not let him down, do not let him die Lord, please consider his zeal for you. Ha, to me see where your foolishness has landed you. Did Jesus not want us to be as wise as serpents and gentle as doves? Oh God, please. Tumisha is being persecuted for your name's sake. He is suffering for righteousness. Wait a minute. What am I thinking? Must a believer confront death when death is not looking for him? Tumisha. You stepped on the tail of the sleeping dog. You tasted God and it was sheer foolishness. Hmm. Oh my God. I should be praying for his survivor. Lord Jesus, please do not let him die. Shining for to light. Thus bearing the light, light in the dark world, you are the light bearer. Jesus, Jesus, I don't know why you did this for me, but I know I do not deserve it. There is nothing my parents have not done to make me come to you. Yet, I have always regarded godly life as a boring life. I wanted a life of adventure. An excitement. Hmm. Unregistered Silver Siena. 9.30 p.m. At the pavilion. White dress. So, that would have been me. Hmm. I would have been butchered for rituals. That was what Samuel planned for me. And I thought being friendly with cultists would protect me from their troubles. I should have known that the devil does not make friends. Hmm. Lord Jesus, I am ready for you now. I really don't know how to find you, but I know you are everywhere, 
even here, right now. Please, Jesus, save me, save me, save me, save me. Set up on the heat cannot be hidden. Ye are the light of the world. 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 His condition is being stabilized. By the special grace of God, it's going to be normal. Hmm? So I'll see you in the evening. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Doctor. See your son. You see your son? To Miche. To Miche. Listen to me. Uh -uh. We were Christians before you were born. We brought you up in the way of the Lord. In fact, we led you to Christ. So it's not as if we don't want you to serve your God. No, that is not it. Your service to God, in fact, it gives us great joy. Abi, and we will not have it any other way. But what we are saying is that you should apply wisdom. Apply wisdom to this thing. Listen, we sent you to school to study so that you can give yourself a firm foundation for a better tomorrow and not, not to go and, go, go and start up a ministry in the school. No! Ah. We are not against your decision to pick us for of Jesus. We do so too. Yes! But what we are talking about, you have to be careful who you preach to and where you preach. If you had died, what would have happened to us? You would have left us money. Ah, ah, ah. Dad. Mom. The magnitude of unrighteousness, the magnitude of sin on this campus. Uh, I observe that it's just too much. I cannot just sit back and watch <laughs> people moving about with their sinful acts and characters. That's why I remember the scriptures in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, oh, verse 16. God. Necessity is being laid upon me. Woe unto me if I preach not the gospel. No, 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 listen to him. Listen to your son. I just heard him. I just heard what he said. What if you had died? Tell me. What if you had died in the process? Isn't it better for you to be alive so that you can bring more fruits to the Lord? Okay, tell me, my son. Where exactly is the fruit of this reckless risk of your life? Where is the fruit? I know that the God that you serve would reward you greatly. That night, when you attempted to preach to me, you disturbed the plan of the devil to destroy my life. Hmm. To me, your present pain is the price for showing me the way. Who ah. is that? That night, when you attempted to preach the gospel to me, you destroyed the plan of the devil to destroy my life. To me, she, I was already sold for rituals. I was a package going for delivery. I missed my appointment for the supposed Aristo. The ritual is your effort is my saving grace. Another student was picked and killed in my stead. I felt guilty. When I last what has befallen you, I couldn't muster the courage 
to come to you until I realize that you have survived. <laughs> to me, Shay, all I want you to know is that don't be discouraged. And your efforts over my life do not go in vain. And I want to encourage you that please, to me, Shay, please continue to make heaven happy. I thank you so much. You have really done so much for me. Ah, to me, Shay, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, God. And now, let us share the grace in fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of Holy Spirit abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. And the church says, Amen. Brought to me, say. With you too, Mishé. Do you really think it is easy for you to single-handedly win the soul of every student here on campus? Haven't you learned enough lessons from what happened to you recently? But Atu Mishé, please take it easy. At least this semester is coming to a close. Let this semester end. Then you continue preaching next semester. That was the same thing I told him. But he won't just listen. So Mishé is too stubborn. Sisters, every believer who understands his divine purpose will not take evangelism with levity. According to Mark 16 verse 15, this is our main assignment that each and every one of us is left with. An assignment for every believers and not exclusively for Tumiche. Ew. But for Tumiche, it is a tax founded upon a covenant with God. I was not the only child of my parents. Really? There were two of us. I had an elder brother, Wale, who was wayward and as unruly as any agent of the devil can be. He was a courtist, dreaded by many. My parents and I prayed, pleaded for a change of heart in him, but he wouldn't listen. Hmm. One day, my brother came face to face with death in a court clash, and his charm failed him, and he could not escape. He was bleeding and vomiting blood. He pleaded that I should show him Jesus, but I could not. Hmm. I was too horrified at the sight. He saw my hesitation and he left, saying that he's going to seek Jesus at the church. We found his butchered body by the roadside the following morning. Whether he found Jesus or not, we cannot tell. 
But that was the last time oh, you saw him alive. Hmm. And the overwhelming guilt of my inaction that day has not left me ever since. Ezekiel 33 verse 6 says that if a watchman sees a sword coming and blows not the trumpet, that the people might be warned. If the sword comes and take any of the people, the blood shall be required from the watchman. This is the word of the Lord. Now you know why I vow that no sinner will slip past me again. I suggest that you too should take evangelism as passionately as that it is worth dying for. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for speaking to me through your word. Thank you, Abba Father. There is none like unto thee. Thank you, Jesus. The one who was, the one who is, and the one who is to come. Father, I appreciate you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for choosing me. Thank you for calling me. Thank you for your grace over my life. Father, I appreciate you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for choosing me. The one who was and the one who is to come. Thank you, Jesus, great monarch of Zion. Thank you, Almighty Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Great Father. You are the Lord, and there's none like unto thee. There's none. You are the Lord, and there's none like unto thee. There's none to be compared to you. We bless your name. Thank you, Jesus. Abba Father, we worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your move on this campus. Thank you for your move on this campus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you because you are causing a great awakening on this campus. Oh, I cry for your mercy. Oh, Spirit of the Lord, I cry for your mercy on this campus. Let righteousness prevail. Let righteousness prevail. In the name of Jesus, have your way, have your way, in the name of Jesus, have your way, Lord, have your way, have your way, Lord. today and tomorrow to spend at home and thanks to you half of my precious saturday has been wasted mm. and certainly half of tomorrow will be spent I in church very, sincerely i'm very sorry it was but, not my fault I'm, I'm very sorry but how could you spend so long praying what were you praying about i said i'm sorry <laughs> service was exceptionally long though it was refreshing then dad and mom had to wait for another endless meeting mm. third girl <laughs> what a way to spend your sunday i thought sunday service sunday was meant to be a day of rest mm -hmm. as instructed by god babe in fact that is why it is good to party on saturday so that you can enjoy the sunday rest 
I don't mind going to church once in a while, though. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> but wait, not the kind of church buffet Jesus will attend. Whereby Sunday service takes all day. <laughs> Girls, I have told you times without number that heaven is view. Give your life to Jesus. <laughs> what did? <laughs> uh, wait. <laughs> so because you just got back from church now, where you are being reminded about heaven, you won't stop preaching to us, you eh? To you won't stop again. preaching you to us. I just hope you are not going in the way of those your fanatic boyfriend. With the way you are. Ngozi, I have told you, I don't have a boyfriend. And I don't believe in having anyone. I am a child of God, notwithstanding what anyone thinks of me. Mm. Girls, girls, I beg, shit your sword. You know it's a sin to quarrel on holiday, remember? <laughs> Anyways, girlfriend, we really missed you. Mm. I can't wait for you to return so I can give you updates on the full gist of the all night party we attended yesterday. <laughs> oh, my girls, the party was swimming with guys. Ha. It was awesome. So you consider parting with guys awesome? May God have mercy on you. Hey no. And you too. With this your boring Christian life. Me, I don't even oh, Please, babe, let's end this conversation now. I need to catch up with some hours of sleep. Say me. Let's leave Virgin Mary to enjoy our Sunday. Okay, girls, I should be in school early tomorrow. Then you can feed me with all your stories. Bye, girls. Mufa Jesu. Mom. What kind of friends spend their Sunday sleeping after spending their Saturday night in parties? What kind of company do you keep at school? You are a Christian for God's sake. And I still remain one, Mom. Do not judge me by other people's character. I do not attend parties with them. And I do not deny Jesus. Mom, don't regard me as if I were a backslider. Aren't you one? Mufei Jesu. Aren't you one? What happened to 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14? That says, do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. Anyway, you do not attend parties with them and do not keep boyfriends like them. But you seem to envy their lifestyle. They are comfortable sharing their escapades with you. Have you forgotten Romans chapter 1 verse 32? Excuse me. Not only those that sin will be condemned, but also those that derive pleasure in them that do them. So are you condemning me to hell now? Oh, <laughs> you <laughs> Jesus what has come over my daughter you have never for once in your life raised your voice at me until today you shouldn't have been you it's all right see it's set up on the he cannot be hidden he are the light of the world. Lights are on. He looks at the sun, money. Lights are on. Yeah, 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 call the fire, see Lights are on. You are the light, yeah. Come for the light, yeah. Come for the light, shine the light. Light of the world. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
to spread the fire. To spread the fire. Thank you, Jesus. I will do just that. I make sure I fulfill your will. I will do just that. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. I'm leaving. You have changed a lot in the last one year. And the changes I have seen in you are not pleasant at all. You hardly ever pray on your own these days. And even when you manage to do so, your prayers are very brief. You now sleep during the family altar and you give a lot of excuses for not attending church services whenever you are home. I wonder if you even have time for the word of God again. Mufejisu. Dad, I, I, I don't know what is wrong with me. I do not engage in anything wrong. I attend school fellowship regularly. But... But what, my daughter? But what? At least you know that your mom and I are always there for you. Talk to me. Dad, it's hard. Studying, praying, fasting, and fellowshipping with the brethren. It makes me look old amongst my friends. It doesn't make me feel among them. I know deep down that God is not happy with my attitude. But at least I have stayed from youthful lust. You've abstained from all except one, my dear. You've abstained from all except one, my daughter. Hmm. Do you remember the book of Romans chapter 1 verse 32 that your mom referred to yesterday? Yes, sir. There, the Bible tells us that if we share in the pleasures of evil with those who commit sin, then we are as guilty as they are before God and are therefore worthy of the same punishment that they deserve. Hmm. Jesus, so. you need to be very careful. Anyway, I need you to know that you are a representative of Christ on that campus. You are supposed to influence others in, the, in favor of Christ. They are not supposed to influence you with evil. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 10 says, My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. I want to warn you strictly. Do not make an attempt to belong among people of the world because you don't belong among them. Is that clear? Yes, sir. It is well with you, my daughter. Amen. All right, let us pray. Lord, I thank you for your daughter. I bless your name because you... Believe me, that boy cannot care for a lady. Even his facial expression shows he's not the romantic type. <laughs> you see, didn't I tell you so? If you like, sell yourself so cheaply for that fraudulent guy. <laughs> My dear, are you Sabio? <laughs> How about girls? Why will you judge a book by its cover? The guy is not really like that, you know. <laughs> the problem with you is that you can't just resist any handsome guy that comes your way. 
Thanks for the compliment though. At least I have tastes and I find them attractive. Then that's your ugly Ahmed. Abi, what does he call himself? <laughs> that's what. Mm. He's a past tense, of course. <laughs> past tense? Yes, he is. As in, I don't suck and dry. I don't suck him and I don't go up now. What do you hey, expect? My friend, the money <laughs> sucking vampire. Hmm. Hey. Hmm. The nemesis of men in our time. Mama, I hear thee. <laughs> but back to the most serious issue, Chica. You need to drop that guy, babe, now. Drop that guy now. He's a virus. But what if he truly loves her? Tell them. Sometimes, under the hard surface, is a soft personality. Hey, thank you. Thank yeah. you. Mm. Sister Mofe. So you're also a philosopher of love. Hey! Yes, so I tell you guys that under this one again facade is a lot of eating skills, and these brothers and sisters know how they manage themselves. Do you understand? <laughs> exactly. Just take a certain look at Sister Mofe Jesu and brother to Hey, 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 Just stop it there. Stop insinuating that there is something between Tumisha and I. Whereas, he who is truly born again, who is truly a child of God, does not engage in immorality like you guys do. But they can advise us on the choices of our own boyfriend, just the way you just did, right? <laughs> Girls, please let's be mindful of the jokes we share. And we all know that Tumisha is, the, is a pastor to the core. And that's why I can never trust him. Pastors are the worst demons working among us all. What? Alero, I am surprised that is coming from you. How could you say that? Without number, that you should stop calling me sister. Stop adding that title to my name. My name is simply Mofe Jesu. Oh. Is that all? I'm sorry. All right, sister Mofe. Oh, Mofe Jesu. I am very sorry. I'm very sorry. How are you? Fine, thank you. Your face looks so serious. <sighs> um, I just want to tell you some things. I'm all yes. I noticed that there is a change in your behavior. There is a change in your lifestyle. Stamufe. What is, what is wrong about this, my lifestyle? What is wrong with the way I live my life? Just tell me. I noticed that you move closer to the things of the world. Okay. I noticed that you have, you know, the way you dress these days, the way you communicate, you talk like them. In fact, the traces of of, of, of a believer, you know, I, I don't find it again in, in your life. Sister Mofe, what are you doing about this? Doing about what? You see, I know this is not my first time of telling you this. But I believe that there is a room for change. That's why I don't want to stop. That's why I must not stop. There is always a room for change. Sister Mofe, okay, okay. Now, look, tell me. Look at the kind of friends you move around with. Have you ever witnessed? Have you ever tell them about the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ? Even for once, just for once. Tell me, shake up. Tell me. You to tell me. How do you know that I've not been telling my friends about Jesus? Are you now a prophet, Tumiche? Ah, ah, I'm sorry. I'm not saying I'm a prophet. But can you just look into my eyes, in the presence of God, and tell me sincerely that you've been telling them about the gospel? Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, okay. Remember the scripture says in the book of Mark, chapter 8, verse 38, that whosoever shall be ashamed of me in this sinful and adulterous world, of him shall I be ashamed of in the presence of my father. I don't know, maybe you maybe you feel maybe within you that they might shun you, maybe you are shy or something. But these are our main mandates. 
This is what we are ought to do as a believer. That's it. Remember Leah in the book of Genesis 34. She regrets and let her suffer a great consequences for that. I just want you to change. Think about it. I want you to change. Okay, thank you, Sumisha. I'll do something about it. Now. Wait, 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 wait. Don't forget. Oh. The Bible also says that whosoever, I'm paraphrasing now, whosoever is ashamed of me in this sinful and adulterous generation, of him shall I be ashamed of before my father. When he, when he comes in glory with his holy angels, Sister Mofe, I want you to think about this very well. Oh. I'll think about it, I've heard you. Can, can I go now? Um, um, okay, one more thing, one more thing, one more thing. I've gathered people on campus. I've gathered brethren so that we can intercede for revival on this campus. I've gathered some set of people that we can cry to God, that we can press in the place of prayer, that the fire, that there will be a great awakening on this campus. And do you know what? I want you to come. I want you to join us. It's just an hour meeting from 5 to 6 in the evening. No, Tumiche, I should be in school by then reading, please. I, I've got so many things to do. Uh, you, you'll be in school reading. <laughs> I, I, I understand. You are a student. Okay. I'm also a student. So, um, I don't see, as I am now, I'm moving to the library now. Okay. I just want to find time and study. And when it is in the evening, I will just go and I want us to stay back together. And in the evening, we'll go. As you can pray. see now, I am very tired and I've got things to do. I'll read later. Please, if you can excuse me. Sister Mofe. Please excuse me. I'll Sister Mofe, a minute. Just. Sister Mofe. Jesus, mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. So in Jesus, mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Brethren, we are going to lift up our voice to God. Amen. And you say, Father. 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 Let there be light on this campus. Let there be light on this campus. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray, Lift up voice and pray. Can you pray? So, you don't worry about it, okay? The arrangement is set. Um, all your scores will be doctored and every member of Diamond World will come out in flying colors. Doctor, sir. Mm -hmm. How do we manage that? There are some lecturers that we don't want to cooperate easily. Right? And see, it's, it's easy, doctor. We can convince them our own way. And anyone that refuses to cooperate will... No, 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 no. It hasn't come to that yet. Remember I said the arrangement is set. Everyone has a price, you know? Doctor, okay. This girl again. Which girl is that? Ah. Look at that, it's going there. That one. I have my eyes on her for a while. Now, now original book home. She don't get time for anybody, any guy, except for that fanatic Tsumishi. So what's so special about Tsumishi to her? Nothing really special. It's just that she's the best student in the faculty. Mm -hmm. Why Tsumishi is the second best student? Doctor, mm -hmm. you can approach her. We all know that she's not so committed into all these religious stuff. She just learned to be born again. We know most of our friends that are around girl. But one thing that is very important, if we can cut Sumishi off, then you can get her. Hmm. Cut off Tumishi. Yes, doctor. That's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Leave it to me. 
All right. Doctor, that. Let everything just be the way we've discussed. Okay? All right. Thank I'll you. see you. Thank I'll you see very much. Sir. Yeah. Please, sir. Sir. I, I, I can't do this. I came to school to study. And I'm not ready to get into any relationship. You are in luck. My dear, you are already in luck. See, I don't have time to. I am too busy to be in a relationship. So let's just make this a one-time affair and get it on with. Lisa, I'm, I'm a child of God. I can't give my body to. And who is a child of the devil? Uh, Tell me. Lisa. Ain't we all created in the likeness of God? Uh, please, 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 please. Spare me all this trash. Talk to me like a normal human being. Lisa, I beg in the name of God. <laughs> Just one night. Oh, Just one night at top hotel. Oh, sir, oh, sir, please, sir, please, please, sir, please, sir, please, please. See, sir. see, see, see. Listen to me. I have a lot of things to do. I'll give you time to go and think about it. And you better be quick about it. Once examination starts, that means that's all. What, please, sir? Your second semester result will speak loud about it. Please, sir. Young girl, leave my office. The only thing I want to hear from you is yes. Good day. Mufe Jesu, once a situation like this arises, there is nothing we can do to help it. You see, these are lecturers. They are like gods here on campus. And unless God intervenes, there is nothing we can do once they get their eyes on you. Mufe, the irony is that, you see, these are God. He hardly intervenes. He seems to enjoy living on, sinking in our own mysteries. Mufe Jesu. What has to be done has to be done. I know you cannot afford to miss the opportunity of emerging as the best graduating student. After all, you will get married one day and you will lose this your so called virginity. Eh? Mufe Jesu, just a night. Just one night. And after the night, you will pretend as if nothing happened. And everything will end in a win win situation. Mufe Jesu, just tonight. Mufe, lies better. Okay, okay. City set up on the hill cannot be hidden. Lies better. He are the lad of the world. Matthew 10 28 says that we should not be afraid of them that can destroy the body and not the soul, but we should fear he that can destroy both the body and the soul cannot afford to sacrifice eternal life just because of academic excellence. It is not worth it. What if you compromise your faith now and give in to this man's sinful demand and you get a perfect result and then God says time up. What gain would the result then bring to you? It actually amounts to gaining the whole world and losing your soul. I know how hard this might be for you. but. Job 22 verse 28 says, Thou shalt decree a thing on earth, and it shall be established. I believe when we cry to the Lord in prayers, He will, he will, he will hear us. He will definitely hear us. So she did not give in? Not yet. Not yet. You see, I carried out uh, a check on her background, and I discovered she's a book freak, just like you said. Uh, I'm sure she will give in. She won't want to lose all the academic achievements she's been accumulating since the beginning of her semester. Uh, she'll come round. That's true, Doctor. So, I only threatened to tamper with her results, even though I might not be able to do that. Uh, why? Well, <laughs> uh, you need to see the, the, the grades she's been having. Her academic achievement since her first semester in this school. You can't fail such a student just like that. Even if you try to fail her and she does not raise an eyebrow, the school can probe into the examination records 
and ask why such a student fail. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, I understand. Uh, and I won't be able to defend myself. Well, I never thought of that. Oh, let's hope she gives in soon. Yeah, let's hope. Let's hope. Let's hope. Um, let's hope. Or better still, if you can deal with that, Tumishi, then we'll be able to break our resolve easily. Mm. Tumishi, wow, that is such a brilliant idea. Hmm. If Tumishi is off the radar, then I'll have a chance. And something just came to mind now. What if Tumishi's answer script got missing? And then the script now finds its way back into his locker. Kai. <laughs> How about that? Ah! That is wonderful! Ah! Doctor! Beautiful one! It's as good as done. Ha, and one more thing, Samuel. Diamond War needs to strike very fast. Green Vipers are trying to blackmail the VC into appointing some of their pillars to the position of head of department. Once that is done, we won't be able to manipulate any result again. I hope you know what I'm talking about. Doctors, that will never happen. Very good. Trust me, doctor. Here is our Kaba. We've been ruling here for decades. Once the snake head is cut off, it becomes an ordinary rope. Let us cut off the head now. Now, Doctor, okay, we stick to action straight up. Very good. I trust you. I trust you. Hello, mommy. How are you? How are you? Mommy. <laughs> Six from me. <laughs> what? Are you sure of what you're talking about? <laughs> Say the thing in my body that, 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 that I won't pass this course. <laughs> Mommy, please pray for me. <laughs> Wait, Mufa Jesu. Hello? Mufa Jesu. Ah, oh, no, no, no. Mufa Jesu. <laughs> Jesus, 
I come against them in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, touch not my anointing and do my prophet no harm. Oh God, no power, no power I will pay, no principality shall be able to oppress us again, shall be able to oppress any student in the name of Jesus. Set up on the he cannot be hidden. He are the light of the world. Jesus, that you are keeping from us. What is that thing that you are hiding from us? Yes. But it is an open secret. It is a truth that you guys are aware of. But you don't just understand its words. And I have to keep quiet about it because I'm avoiding the shame of being labelled a fanatic. So, what truth would that be? The fact that we all stand the risks of hellfire by the way we live our lives. The fact that we reject the saving grace that has been offered to us in order to enjoy the pleasures of this world. How shall we escape if we neglect the great salvation? But, but Mufe, you and I know we attend service regularly. Yes. You in particular do not party or keep boyfriends like the rest of us. So are you telling me a good deed cannot, cannot outweigh our evil? No, Alero. It is not enough. He that committed a sin is of the devil, for the devil sinned from the beginning. The wicked shall be turned to hell, and all the nations that forget God. I am very, very sure of that. Because even the custodian of the so-called gospel are the worst demons among us. I don't understand what you're saying, Alero. I know you've always wondered why I criticize pastors a lot. Hmm. Especially since I told you that my pastor sponsors my education. 
The truth about it is that there's a contract between us. Yes. He will continue to pay for my tuition fee as long as I allow him to sleep with me. What? When my mother died, I I became an orphan. There was no one ready to bear my burden. My pastor appeared as a friend in need at the beginning. But he later made his intention clear to me that he had always wanted to lie with me. I was helpless. There was no power for me. And as usual, God was absent when I needed him most. He allowed his so-called servant to, to use me. How can the same God condemn me to hell? Haliru, you should have faith in God. He's our very present help in times of trouble. As for the pastor, God's verdict of woe in Jeremiah would be his portion if he fails to repent. What, what should I have done? I've always battled with the burden of the condemnation. I knew I wasn't at peace with my maker, but I was angry with him. I detest him. <laughs> but how do I find my way back to him? <laughs> the first step is repentance from sin and a determination not to go back to it. Then you should ask for his forgiveness because he that covereth his sin shall not prosper. And then you surrender your life to him and you become a true child of God. Okay, okay, L let me pray with you. your children into your hands. Happy that you are here, and this is an answer to prayers. Thank you. Thank God that you are here. Thank God that you heed to the warnings of the Lord. You are welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I am fully restored to the fold of Christ now. So now I, I, I am standing in Christ without fear and without shame. Wow. Hmm. And you see, about the case of, of Dr. Fijabi, about his traits. I've lived everything at the feet of God. Well, I know nothing is impossible for God to do. Okay, you are right, Sister Mufe, you are right. That's very good. <laughs> I am no longer ashamed to be called Sister Mufe Jesu oh, again. Glory to God. Thank God. you. Let's just join the intercessory prayers. Right. Let's join the prayers together. All right, thank you. Let's join the
set up on the heat can be eating. I don't just understand at, hmm. at all. How come? Do you know what? Ha, to me, she. I'll see you later. Thank you. So, so. <sighs> ah, this is to me, she's answer script. Okay. Sir, I'm very, I'm very, very sorry, sir. Sir, please have mercy on me. I submitted this script when others were submitting. When my mates were submitting, I, I submitted the script. But I don't just understand how, how the script got missing, sir. Please, sir, please have mercy on me, please, sir. Please. See, the only help that I can render for you is what I have done already. I'm asking you to leave my office and never. Show your face here again. Or what do you think the Senate will say when they hear that you are just submitting your answer script after an examination? Sir, please. I did not cheat. Oh. In the, I did not cheat in the exam or throughout. Aha. I was just minding my business. I was minding my business. Sir. I see. Who said anything about cheating? <laughs> Tell me. Who said anything about cheating? That means. You are actually up to something. Anyways, there is nothing more I can do for you than not reporting you to the Senate. But if you remain in this room for the next 60 seconds, you will have to plead before the Senate. Sir, please. Make your choice. Sir, please. Oh, have mercy on me, sir. Oh, oh. 20 seconds. Oh. Sir, please. 40 seconds. Sir. Hey, hey, hey. Ah. Nonsense. <laughs> 55 seconds! <laughs> Nonsense. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let us sing this song. The God of Elijah should send our fire. Let us sing this song. Oh, yes. God of Elijah send our fire. God of Elijah send our fire. God of Elijah send our fire.
to line, thus bearing the light. Light in the dark world, you are the light bearer. Shining forth your light, thus bearing the light. Light in this dark world, you are the light bearer. Ah, ah, My dedication, my sacrifice, my hard work gone down the drain just like that. Psalm 34 verse 5 says, They look up unto him and were lighting, and their face were not ashamed. But I look up unto you, Lord, what have I gained besides shame? I faced a major cost, a cost I worked very hard to pass. And you watch this happen to me. I know you to be a just God. Why will you allow an agent of the devil, like Fijabi, to laugh at me? What have I done that you cannot forgive me? And that Fijabi, ah, my heart causes you, as you have injured me emotionally. May you never be free from frustration, failure. May your struggle for greatness always result in great futility. To me, she. Something is wrong with you. You keep telling me all is well, but I know something is wrong with you. You are my son and I know you. I've noticed some very unpleasant changes in you. Ever since you returned from school, you've been moody and withdrawn. You seem to have lost zeal for the things of God and for God himself. Even church services do not excite you anymore. And you keep telling me all is well? Come on, son, tell me. What is the problem? There is nothing wrong, Dad. There is nothing wrong. I'm fine. I mean, all is well. But, but your attitude is telling me otherwise. Uh, sir, I just need to be alone. I need to be alone. I'm fine. Dad, I'm fine. Thank you. I'm fine. 
All right, all right. I Satan to take advantage of the situation to attack. Remember Romans 8 verse 28 says that all things work together for, for good to those who love God and to those who are called according to his purpose. Brought to me, she, I'm very sure that the Lord has a good reason for allowing this to happen. Brought to me, she, Encourage yourself in God. Hey, remember your counsel to me. When I was threatened by Dr. Fijabi, okay, will you be attending the intercessory meeting this week? Ha! Brought to Mishi. The same meeting you initiated yourself? Brother to Mishi. I need you to encourage yourself. Eh? Brethren are becoming tired of it. Brethren now, they, they are even suggesting that we should, we should just scrap this thing because they've not been seeing you. You've not been attending this, this meeting, especially since when we went on holidays. Brought to me, she. You are the one who started this move. Hey? Would you just allow this, this vision to die like that? Ha! Brought to me, she. <laughs> All right. We shall be praying for you. But please, do not lose your courage in God. Okay. Remember that many of us are looking up to you for encouragement. And do not forget the assignments that God has committed into your hands. Lord, please do something. This situation is getting out of hands. The mighty are falling and it is making me afraid for the rest of us that are still trying to go. If someone like Brother Miche can succumb so easily to a challenge, who among us, who among the rest of us can stand? And the work, the revival you have started through him, how will it continue if it remains like this? Will the fire die again? What is the fate of the intercessory team without Brother Tumiche? Please, Father, restore your son. Please heal his wound and comfort him. Do not let the kingdom of darkness rejoice in victory over him. And the flame of fire through the intercessory unit, please keep it burning. Oh, dear Lord, please deliver your son to me, she. Deliver him from the hands of the snails of the fowlers. Please, dear Lord, help him not to become a prey in the hands of the devil. Please, dear Lord, help him. Deliver him, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Strengthen him the more, Lord. Encourage him, Lord. Father, please help him. Jesus, dear Lord, please help him. Father, please help your son. Deliver your son, Jesus. Dear Lord, please help him, Lord. Father, please help. Oh God, renew his presence, Lord. Restore his future, Father. And help him that his past will be healed, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Help him not to get tired of you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Ah, Mufe, thank God you have the touch. We would have missed our way. <laughs> Can
Can that just be a dream? I don't think so. Spread the fire. Kindle the lights in them all. Is this your mandate for me, Lord? Hmm. Oh, Jesus! Rekindle your fire in me, Lord! Oh, God! Help me to spread out your fire, Lord, to everyone that comes in contact with me, Lord. Father, please help me. Oh, Jesus, help me. Oh, Father, help me. on behalf of this campus. So we'll be joining our hands together. But before then, I want us to open our Bible to Matthew chapter 5, from verse 14 to 16. You are the light of the world. Okay. It's still located on a hill, can't be hidden. Mm. People don't light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before people, in such a way that they will see your good actions and glorify your Father in heaven. Praise God. Hallelujah. That verse 16, that's where my emphasis lies on. That you are the light, let your light so shine before men, that they may see what your good work and do what glorify your Father which is in heaven. So because we are the light of the world, people must see the good work in you. Praise God. Hallelujah. People must see the good work of the Father in you. You know, we'll be having our upcoming revival program very soon. Yes. So I want us to pray concerning it as we rise up on our feet this morning. Oh yeah, let's stand up. Let's begin to pray. Oh Jesus, we need your revival. Even on that, we said that will be doing. We need your revival. We need your revival. We are not praying. Oh, oh Jesus. So, Miche, why is your heart so heavy? Consider my situation. Is there anything to be glad about? Don't be too hard on yourself. The Lord saved you for the salvation of others. He made you virtue unto honor, fit to be fisher of men. He gave you touch to be the touch bearer to the world. Is a year too much for the Lord to delay you on campus to fulfill his purpose? What? You are losing the touch. Ah. 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 Oh God! The touch! The touch! Where did I drop the touch? Where did I drop the touch? Ah! Oh Jesus! Have mercy on me! Where did I drop the touch? Ah! Hey, I, 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 of God is the internal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The Lord loves you. He only hates your sin. Psalm 34 verse 18 says, The Lord is nigh that I will be broken heart. Save of a contrast spirit. If you turn to him today, you will wipe away your guilty past with the blood of Jesus that was shed on the cross of Calvary. He will save you. First John chapter 1 verse 9 says, If you confess your sin, 
is faithful and just to forgive you of all unrighteousness. I invite you this morning as we plead for his mercy together. If you know you want to surrender everything to him, if you know you want to lay every sin to him at his feet this morning, I want you to come here this morning as we'll be asking for his mercy together. Please rise on your feet and join me in prayer this morning. Let's ask for his mercy together. Let's ask for his mercy together. You might not have another opportunity to do this. You might not have another opportunity to do this. Thank you, brother. Thank you, sister. Please be on your news. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I want you to put, place your right hand on your chest as we take the song together. I surrender Afternoon. We heard that you returned yesterday. Let's go and pay a visit today. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. And do you know what? We have a good news for you. Yeah. Really? Yes. But that's Miche. The Lord has fought for you. Uh, the school authority discovered that there was a massive and widespread fraud in the last examination. Fraud? Yes, and it involved the, 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 the lecturers, the students, and particularly the, the cultists. And the school authority had to cancel the last examination. Seriously? Yes. yes. And do you know what? We, we, we are going to rewrite the examination in the next two weeks. Uh, the exam has been cancelled. Yes. And we're writing it again. Yes, the sir. next two weeks. Ah, it's very true, sir. Go to Michelle. Do you know what? The mysterious failure that tainted your record last semester is now null and void. You are now free. Uh, uh, th 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 thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, th thank you. Please, I, I need to be alone. Thank you. Thank but you Michi, is everything okay? Uh, I'm fine. Uh, are you sure you're alright? I need to be alone. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh. Ah, ah, ah. Oh God, I'm sorry. Ah. I know I failed you, Lord. Ah. I lost my faith in your ability to do all this, Lord. Ah. I lost my integrity. I lost my honor. I lost peace. I lost my position. I lost my integrity as the torch bearer. As the torch bearer, love. I acted as if it challenged for the end of my life. Oh God, have mercy. I'm back. I'm back. Let mercy prevail. 
Nobody you cannot be 